What is up YouTube? Isaac coming at you this time with a little DIY gizmo to help give you an amplified sound while playing a harmonica in rack. <laughs> Alright folks, as I said in the teaser, we're going to be making a very simple, very cheap little um, adapter clip so that you can play amplified in a rack. And this is the assembly right here that we're going to be making today. Uh, the parts you should be able to find for well under $5. I think $5 would be the maximum that you could probably spend. I mean, maybe you could spend a bit more if you chopped down a fancy mic. Uh, but I'm going to talk about all these components uh, and how to assemble them, how to how to shape and assemble them together. Uh, uh, and then I'm going to play some sound examples for you so that you can actually hear what this little clip is capable of doing. So let's quickly take a look at all the components and tools that you're going to need to build this project. All right, so here is what you're going to need. You're going to need a couple of tools, namely you're going to need a drill, and the drill has got to come equipped with a step drill bit. You can get that at any hardware store, any hardware store or any auto parts store. They're made for drilling different size holes, typically in sheet metal, but they'll work fine for our purposes here. You're also going to need some sort of hacksaw or a rotary tool if you're careful and know how to use those things and you might need a soldering iron, but you might not. And then you're going to need some supplies. You're going to need some gaffer's tape. I prefer using gaffer's tape because it's nice and cloth-like and black. It's really good. Uh, you're going to need some pieces of one and a half inch plastic downpipe. Uh, these are the kind that go underneath your sink. In fact, these are all offcuts from a recent plumbing job that I did, but you can get them in black or white. I think black looks a little bit better. Uh, they should. You need a piece that's at least two or three inches long to be effective. You could go longer, you could go maybe a little bit shorter, but you need some length, okay? Uh, and then of course you're going to need a rack for your harmonica and a harmonica yourself. And then the most important part, you're going to need some sort of donor mic, okay? I'll show you exactly what I did with this guy here, but it started out life much like this. This is just a cheap tape recorder mic that I found in a thrift shop for like maybe a dollar fifty or a dollar. I think I got like five or six of them in a plastic grab bag. You could find, maybe try to use a lavalier mic. This happens to be one from uh, Calrad. This is a vintage one I think. I don't know, I also found it somewhere in a dollar store. Uh, something like this would work and you wouldn't have to solder. If you wanted to start off with something like this, you have to chop it down. So you got to open up the casing, find the element, remove it, and potentially solder, remove and re-solder the cable or solder a different cable. So that's what you basically ended up with here. So basically what you're seeing here is this part is essentially just this part cut out with the element behind it. And then I soldered the wires back up and then heavily wrapped it in gaffer's tape just to give it some strain relief. So what you need to do is get a mic like this, either like this one that's pretty much ready to go, or something like this and chop it down uh, to this stage. And I'm not going to show you that here because it's a little bit tedious and it's not that difficult to do. So then what you got to do is basically start out with your little bit of plastic down tubing here, which will be um, completely circular and filled in. You cut it to length, mark it and cut it with your little hacksaw, you know, like that. And then, as you can see over here, you basically got to use that hacksaw, your rotary tool, or whatever it is, to cut uh, a slot out of it. And the width of the slot isn't super critical, but you need to have it be, let's say, at least a centimeter or so. So, a little bit more than half an inch. Let's say three quarters of an inch to, yeah, that's probably about it. Half an inch to three quarters of an inch. And then on the other side, you got to use your rotary or your drill with your step drill bit 
to drill actually quite a big hole in the back of the guy here. So that's generally the setup. Uh, this piece of pipe was actually one down tube like that and I cut off this little piece here. I mean this is how I found the black stuff so I prefer the color of the black tubing to the white but you know use whatever you can find. So let me put the camera into the uh, back on the tripod and I'll show you how it all goes together. Okay, so you've got the major pieces uh, made, the, the um, piece of plastic tubing is slotted and the hole is cut in the back. The mic is chopped down if you're chopping down a tape recorder mic uh, and it's got its own cable here and you've got whatever kind of harmonica holder you have. This should work with pretty much any harmonica holder. Of course I only have this one so I've only tested it with this one. So I'm going to put the holder aside for a second and I'm going to focus on getting these two together. And as you probably have guessed, what you need to do is thread the cable through the hole. Right? So basically you just got to put it in, <laughs> just got to put it in basically and thread it all the way through. Okay, so let me just do that really quickly here. This is a little bit of a long cable but that's kind of what you want. When you get to this part you want to make sure that the microphone, oh, let me see if I can make sure that you're seeing this. So you got to see that the microphone isn't facing like down into the side of the plastic. You want the element kind of trying to face the back of the harp which will, as you guessed, go into this slot right here. So get that positioned and then just to keep it in place take just a little bit of gaffer's tape. Here's a small piece I've cut already and just put it right there. So this serves a couple of purposes. It's going to seal up that hole that we had to drill to fit the cable through. And it's just going to keep that mic from jiggling around, hitting the back of the harp, or uh, from facing away from it. Okay, So there's your uh, general uh, assembly of the harmonica and the mic. I'm sorry, of the mic and the tube. Now it comes back to the harmonica holder and of course the harmonica. Now depending on your holder you might be able to assemble the mic clip I guess onto the harmonica and then put on your holder especially if you have the kind of clamp from the side. This kind that I have here it's this sort of bigger clamp like this that wants to go up. So what I found I had to do is actually put the harmonica in the holder first right so get it clamped in place like that so it's in the holder here. So th my face will be this way and my mouth will be on this side and the clip will want to be on this side, right? So in order to get this on there, you're going to have to apply some sort of force. So I'm going to try and do this on the camera. You're going to have to pull that C-clamp up and slide it over, right? So you can see right there how it's attached. Let's see, there you go. You can see that the thing is clamped over the harmonica. You can just get it positioned right there. So you can see it's clamped onto the harmonica and then actually it's clamped onto the bottom of this little bracket that's on the harmonica holder, okay? So there it is from the bottom. And there it is from the top. So you still have quite a bit of uh, playing surface. Your lips can go on it. This doesn't really obstruct your playing in any way more than the rack does just sort of naturally, right? So you can play it just like this and it has a decent little acoustic sound. Now, there'll be some clips at the end. Um, so you, well, it's sort of a halfway between playing to a mic on a stand and sort of a, it's, it's a loose cup kind of a sound. If you want that tighter cupped kind of a sound, uh, this is a dynamic microphone in there from those tape recorder mics, so it will overdrive. What you can do is sort of seal up the sides of the tube. And I found the easiest way to do that is a, with another couple of strips of gaffer's tape. And here you want to be just a little bit careful because you don't want the tape to actually obstruct your your mouth, but you want it to seal up the entirety of that hole that the end of the that the end of the pipe open pipe is sort of leaving there. So if you just sort of make sure that these flaps don't come out too far to interrupt your where your mouth wants to be. Uh, it's not too difficult to do that. So let me just add the final strip on the other side. 
So again, you just sort of wrap it around in there, trying to seal everything up, but without obstructing the way you want to be playing that harmonica later. And once you do that, just sort of flatten it out. You could take your time, be a bit more careful than I'm being right now. But as you can see, what you end up with is a fairly small, unobtrusive, clip-on mic. And if you've done the tape a little bit more carefully, you can actually uh, take the mic completely off there, a little bit more carefully than I am showing here. And you can still leave these sort of bellows, right? So, sorry, I'll show it on camera. These sort of bellows on the side that you can then s sort of switch out to another mic, uh, another harmonica and put the mic back on. It's a little bit more pain to get it actually back on because you can't slide it in there. Um, but it is possible. So let me see if I can just do that real quick. Click it on just like that. So, there it is. The simple, very cheap DIY harmonica amplifier in the rack, I guess. Rack, harmonica rack amplifier. Let's call it that, okay? Uh, basically, if you find one of these, one of these uh, tape recorder mics for a, at least, like at most a dollar or two at Goodwill or something like that, and you get, I don't know, 25 cents worth of downpipe, uh, it's gonna work. <laughs>